Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire, and this week I'm really excited to bring you part three of my new stencil and mask designs for Joggles.com. I'm so excited about the 16 new designs that I drew by hand with Sharpie marker and Joggles converted and manipulated and created into stencils and masks that you can order online and experiment with on your gel plate. How cool is that? I think that I absolutely have the best job on the planet. So if you want to see how to layer and combine stencils and masks to create some beautiful, rich, textured collage paper, let's go check it out. Welcome back. Today we're using three of my new stencil designs for joggles.com and they are Spring Fling, At Ampersand, and Planes. Now you'll notice that Planes is a pretty straight line pattern and that At Ampersand and Spring Fling are very organic patterns. I've designed my stencils to be combined and overlapped so that you can achieve rich highly textured collage paper. And when I am using them together, I always try to combine organic swirly lines with some level of straight lines. They make a good combination. Now these are bending and um, irregular straight lines, but they're straight lines nonetheless. And I also have some other stencils that have more straight or rectangular line patterns, and they are meant to be combined with the swirling line patterns. The more layers you create in your collage paper, in your gel prints, the better. So um, the more rich and highly textured the, the, um, the patterns uh, get. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a little tropical feeling. Summer is coming. We've got our spring fling uh, stencil. So I'm going to jump around on the color wheel and do a little um, teal with orange and gold and we'll see what happens. So our base coat is going to be um, orange. So I'm going to grab my uh, pyro orange and I'm going to add to it a little bit of dairy light yellow to brighten it up even more. And I'm going to be creating these prints on rice paper that comes on a pad. I'm going to give you a link for resources for all of the materials I'm using. This rice paper uh, has a smooth side and a rough side. You always want to put the smooth side down on the plate so that it doesn't stick. So our first layer is going to be that nice, light, bright orange. So I'm going to put out a little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow, and I'm going to roll those together to give myself a nice, bright, summery orange. You'll notice that this rice paper pulls all of the paint off the plate, and I love that about this rice paper. This rice paper is also thicker than most, so it's strong and sturdy, so when it pulls from the plate, it doesn't tear. So here we've got our nice bright orange print, and that's our base layer. Our next layer is going to be teal. So I'm going to use the teal paint, and I'm gonna add a little white to it so I can brighten that up even more. and roll that out on the plate. Now my next layer is going to be the spring fling mask. That's gonna go into the teal paint and I'm gonna grab myself a cleanup sheet to remove the paint in the negative spaces so that I will be left with the flowers that are the positive images of the mask. So this sheet will be good for another application, but right now I'm using it just to remove paint and the negative spaces. So I'm left with a positive flower pattern under the mask. Now I'm going to have my orange sheet ready so that when I peel back the mask and I've got my positive pattern, I'm gonna put that right over the orange. Now I've got a beautiful bright blue right over my high contrast orange. This is gonna to need to be cleaned off the plate before we can move forward. So I've got another cleanup sheet. We'll see if we can get it to transfer onto this. 
there we go. So another cleanup sheet becomes another piece of collage paper. And then our last uh, next stencil, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself, is gonna be the at ampersand. And we're gonna do that with gold. So iridescent, bright gold, fine. And I'm going to clean my brayer of the teal by rolling it off onto a clean sheet off camera. I'm just gonna roll it off and I'm gonna get most of the teal off, but I'm gonna leave a little bit in the brayer, rolling it off onto a clean sheet. And that little bit is gonna tint my gold slightly green. So at ampersand goes into the next layer. And again, I'm gonna use my cleanup sheet to remove the paint in between the negative spaces of the mask. Now, once again, I'm gonna remove the mask and quickly transfer that layer onto our rice paper. So now I've got subtle print, but it didn't show up quite as much as I wanted it to. So I'm gonna do it one more time with more gold and less green. This time I've got more of a pattern showing up with my metallic. So now I've got my orange pattern, my orange base layer, my teal spring fling, and my slightly gold slash green at ampersand. So our last layer is going to be the planes stencil, and I'm gonna leave that on the plate and add some turquoise phthalo to it. And for my last layer, I'm gonna put the planes stencil on top of our sheet. And there you have a beautiful layering of orange, teal, green, gold, and turquoise blue phthalo with a combination of three stencils on rice paper. Happy Friday and thank you for being here.